Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be filming um, my autumn makeup routine. This isn't the one that I'm going to be filming. It's going to be kind of a bit different because I'm going to be using the eyeshadow. But I am going to be using this similar base. Um, so I'm trying to get comfortable because my feet keep slipping off. Um, I am in a different background in my dining room at the minute because the lighting is really, really natural and I look good. So yeah, I've got all my makeup laid out here and I've got to take this off, which I wore to college. I've literally just got in from college. Like It's like the time is half 11. I'm an autumn background. Yeah, I'm very in the season of autumn now. Like, love autumn. Anyway, so I got in from college early and I was going to film this video tomorrow as I don't have any college tomorrow, but then I thought I am going out tomorrow with my friends, so I might as well just, you know, do this look now. So this isn't the finished look. I didn't really want to show you guys what the finished look was, so you'll have to skip that to the end. Or just wait and watch the video. So just grab some drinks, grab some snacks, um, because this video is going to be a really good video, because I will be chatting to you guys. So yeah, I will see you in the next clip. Hello, this is me barefaced. Disgusting. So yeah, I'm gonna just, I've just took my makeup off using two makeup wipes. Yeah, I had that much makeup on, that really didn't, but you know. So yeah, you've seen me barefaced before, so don't be like, whoa. Yeah, there was a glow up, but you know, that happens with So now I'm gonna get into the video, and I hope that you enjoy, and yeah, slash a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let's get into the video. So first, I'm going to be taking the Insta Fix and Go uh, Primer Spray and Setting Spray. So I just use this all over my face. Oh, it smells like melons. I'm going to go in with my foundation, and the foundation I'm going to be using is the Wake Me Up Foundation. Um, yeah, from Rimmel. I've been using this foundation because my friend gave it me and um, I'm actually loving it. Like, it's really, really nice. Um, to apply this foundation, I'm taking this angled foundation brush. I literally bought this on um, not Amazon, eBay. Come in a set. I'm sorry if the background is noisy. I've got the window open and I'm, because I'm so hot, like it is like humid today. It doesn't look it, but it is. So get like a little splodge and just put it on my cheek. I've never ever reapply like I always when I start makeup off that's it like I never reapply my makeup and this cannot be good for my skin so you know this is for my not a makeup this is for a YouTube channel though, so not YouTube channel YouTube video so yeah I have to do this so with my angle brush I'm gonna just blend this in it looks orange on my skin because I'm quite pale but it isn't it's just. It's like a light beige colour, but it actually gives quite good coverage, like, that's good coverage. To me, anyway. I don't really like full coverage foundations, because I always like to look natural. How am I already getting spots? Like, this cannot be good for me. And I've got to take this off afterwards, because I don't want to sit around in full face of makeup. For nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll blend this in, and I'll be back with you in a sec. I don't like it. I la 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 oh. oh. So now I'm just going over it with my beauty blender so that it's just not matte but like no brush stroke brush brush strokes are like on my face because that looks weird. Okay, right, so next is um, concealer. I'm just gonna find it. Hold on. So, the concealer I'll be taking is the Lasting Perfection Concealer that collect. Blah, 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 blah. Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer by Collection. Um, I didn't. This is a. Can you stop creaking? This is a re recent purchase. Um, I bought this a couple of weeks ago from. I think super drug um and i've actually been loving it and it just gives me a right it actually gives good quite good god i can't not speak it actually gives quite oh quite 
good coverage. Okay. So, I just put that, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to highlight my forehead because uh, you cannot get enough highlight. Um, plus, I've got a few spots on my chin. No. Oh, yeah, guys, the makeup look is done. Jokes. Imagine walking out like this, like, you'd look like... Well, you'd look like people, like, you haven't got blended concealer in. I don't know, like, this hand is in this angle. I can't talk from doing this. So, I'll go back and check them. Okay, right. So, now for setting powder. I look very illuminating. Alright, so, now for setting powder. I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Clear Complexion Slash Tint Radiux. I can never say this. It's basically, like, just a pressed powder. Oh, it's translucent, so I just set the face with it. And the brush I'll be taking to, to set the face is this big fluffy one from Body Care. I got this ages ago. I don't really buy expensive brushes because I don't really see the point. I do have one next, but I got that for Christmas. So that's does that's not that's not the point. And then I set my face with this powder because it's nice powder. And it smells nice. It smells like fresh cakes. Kind of. Oh, there's a hair on my face. I hate when I do my makeup with the hairs on my face. I actually hate that. Okay, right, so now is for bronzer. I don't contour, like I don't, that doesn't interest me. I just think it, God's sake. <laughs> I just think it doesn't look very um, natural, do you know what I mean? So I don't ever contour and if I did, then it was like for prom, whatever. So I am going to be taking the Tanya Burr, I don't know what this palette is called, it just says Beautifully Defined and it has a bronzer, highlight and three eyeshadows so, and I use the bronzer in this just to not carve out my cheeks, so I'm not carving but I'm like just bronzing. I'll do this though. See this gives like a, such a nice like brown. And then on my forehead. Next is blush. So the blush that I'll be using is from this palette here. It's just a Rimmel palette. It's the um, the Kate Moss. Kate Moss. Yeah, I think Kate Moss is the name. Yeah, I don't know. But it's the Kate Moss palette. It's a contour kit, but I don't use any of these. I do use that sometimes when I want a contour. That's a very rare occasion. But I do use this blush. It's actually, just like natural colour. And look, it's coming off. Okay, right. I'm blushing. Okay, right, so next is highlight. Wait, this is the wrong brush for highlight. It is the right brush for highlight. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's not my eye. Right, so to make my highlight more popping, I'm going to be taking the primer spray that I use, you know, spray my face with primer, and I'm just going to be spraying this like this. Shake it a little bit, shake it up. And then I'm taking the Anastasia Glow Clear, the Glow, blah, 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 the Gleam Glow Kit in Anastasia. And I'm going to be taking the shade Mi Mimosa. This one. I don't really know how to do, you know, but I'm just going to be dipping it in like this. And then on my cheeks, a bit of glow, and then watch the shine. Watch the shine. Oh god, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Oh. Can I have to look in the mirror while doing this? Oh yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Other side. You have to see it on this side better. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, right. So now I have a highlight all over your face because you can never get enough highlight. So I'm taking my Naked 3 brush from the Naked 3 palette. We're spraying this again with my primer spray. You could use this like, um, people use the Max Fi the Mac Fix Plus spray to do this as well. Let me see that's a primer. Is it a primer? Anyway, I'm going to take this brush and dip it into the same shade and put it onto my nose. My nose bone, what it's called. And then here... A bit of highlight, other side, 
my eyebrows, eyebrow, my eye in the corners. If you think I'm weird for doing in the corners first and you do intense eyeshadow, I'm like, no, I'm not weird. Thank you. And then my keep it spur. Eyebrows. I am going to be taking, if I can find it, right, so taking this uh, eyebrow kit from Revolution, I use this shade as I've hit the pan, as you can see, right, so I just dip into the gel, which I have none left of, and just put it on my eyebrow, it's like a primer, but like not at the same time, it just kind of keeps your eyebrows stuck down. There's an eyebrow hair and my eyebrow brush. Surprising. Okay, right, so. All I do is my All I do is my eyebrows is just fill them in. I didn't do I don't do anything extra with them because I can't bother. It didn't look natural. And I know that I get it wrong. This look more brown. This one look more thick, I don't know why I have done. So now for the lids. Closer to the camera. Hola. Okay, right, so look, the, why as soon as I do my eyes, the light comes back out? Are you actually kidding me? All right, so for the transition shade, I'm going to be taking the bronzer that I used on my cheeks. Oh, I've got shit in my eye again. I'm going to be taking the tran the, this bronzer as a transition shade because it's just a light, light, co like a cool tone brown. And then I'm just going to put this here. And just circular motion so I have it like the way I want it. This video is already 40 minutes long, man. What am I? Not 40, 14. Okay, I'm going to the other side now. Okay. That's the transition shade. So now I'm going to take a different palette and I'm taking the bronze palette by Kylie Jenner. And in here is a lot of autumnal shades, you know. So I am going to be taking this brown here and just to like darken my crease a little bit. I need a mirror for this bit because I'll get this bit wrong on me and I've already got it wrong actually. So, so I'm just going to do it, literally putting it right there. Again, circular motions. The crease, back, back and forth, circular motion, so then you get that like light brown kind of colour. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to go back into the Tiny Bear palette and I'm going to take the darkest shade, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just put, I literally dab it in a little bit so it'll darken up my colours in my um, crease not crease this little bit here so I'm going to literally just it kind of looks like a shadow so I just like got deepen that in deepen the colours alright so now for the lid well not lid well yeah you can say lid so I'm going to go back into the collagen of palette and I'm going to take this really orange colour like that much and then I'm gonna put this in in a corner not in a corner out of corner of my lid literally just press it on like that so like that kind of overtaking the brown on the outer corner like so Okay, right, that's like the outer corner done. So now I'm going to be taking the Naked 3 um, brush. It's got this little fat flat brush here. If it focuses. Got a little, little flat brush. So I'm going to be taking the Corrigan palette again, but I'm going to take the lightest shade, which is this one here. So you could say like a cut crease, but it's not going to. Oh wow, it's got my bloody hands in the black. Could set up a cut crease, but it's not going to be a cut crease, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to take some of this, like that much on, so a lot, to make it look like white. 
and then literally do this like right, so press it on like that kind of drag it along until it meets the orange like that is um beware because it is a bit of fallout and so like it looks very white like that I'm not gonna. I'm not finished. By the way, I don't think I'm finished. I'm not finished. So the sack is the same for the other side, like that. So now I'm gonna be taking this um, Rotate X brush that I've been using all the time, the whole time. And I'm literally gonna be taking this like shimmer shade at the top. I'm putting it over the white, so it just gives it like it's like a highlight shade. So take it that that much. And then I'm gonna look into the mirror and just literally press it onto the white until you satisfy really and blend at the same time so it blends into the orange. So it looks like a champagne shimmer colour, uh, which I really like. So yeah, I think it looks very top heavy, so I am gonna be taking the transition shade that I took in the first time with, but the thing is, I'm using the same brush, it will be mixed with this other colours, which makes it look a bit. So now, lastly, is the eyelashes. I don't use fake eyelashes, like you can use fake eyelashes, um, um, but I personally just don't like using them because one, I can't put them on. Just, it's the wind, I might just shoot them in the rest. One, I can't put them on, and two, I just think it doesn't look very natural. So you can use eyelashes, like I'm not saying you can't, but I don't. So the mascara that I'll be taking is the Last Sensational Maybe Mascara, and I'm just going to be coating this with my, in my eyelashes. You're making me jump. Okay, lastly, Lastly is lips, so for the lip colour I'm going to be taking the nude colour and this is from the Kylie Jenner um, birthday edition. On camera it looks very pinky but it's not, it's, I promise you it's nude. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be taking this onto my lips, obviously, but this, this time I need to use a mirror because like, I didn't use a mirror for mascara. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this look. I actually love this look. I think it's just so, you know, autumnal because of the eyes. And yeah, um, I hope that you liked it and hope to take some inspiration from this. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.